the Dublin Road estate, as it is known now, that it's um, built on the site of the old mother and baby's home here in Tune. And in the corner is what we now know as the home baby's graveyard. For the amount of people that are buried there, no one, no one would actually know, and it would be awful hard to put a figure on it. But on record, there is 796 children that lost their lives here between 1925 and 1961, with no burial record of any of the children. 1975, myself and my friend Barry were playing here, and this used to be our general play area. And in the corner here was all overgrown. And just in the wall, next to this plot of land, there used to be an apple orchard. And one day we came out of the orchard and jumped from the wall, landed on the ground, and underneath it we felt a hollow. Having brought back the overgrown weeds and briars, we discovered a concrete slab. We prized open the slab and we found, I don't know, to our amazement or our horror, uh, an area full of bones. And the best way of describing that would be a concrete chamber. Whether that was a crypt or a tomb or a tank, we don't know. But just, there appear to be a lot of bones in it. A lot of the women that would have found themselves here would have been, you know, to be, would be classed as minors now, they'd be under the age of 18, 16, I think was the average age. And a lot of them would have been pregnant through no fault of their own. And that could be, you know, rape, incest. There seemed to be a lot of incest and rape going on at the time, you know, and it might have been the lack of sexual education, there was no such thing as contraceptives, and you know, and I listened to one commentator one night, and he was reading from the records, that a woman that would be a first-time offender would spend one year after the child of her birth, a woman who would be a second offender would spend three years after the time of the child, her birth, her child's birth, and I'm screaming, an offender, they were sentenced to a year and three years respectively, as if they had committed an offence. And to me, they didn't commit any offence. You know, getting pregnant is not an offence. Getting pregnant is not a sin. And, but they were treated that way. What I hope comes of all this, and what a lot of people hope comes of, is the recognition that these children did lose their lives here, and that they were recognised. And I would hope that we as a society would learn from this that, you know, everyone deserves recognition, not alone in life but in death as well.